the Rick. <laughs> Should LeBron want to come back? Well, I'm old school. The idea of not playing when you're capable of playing has never made sense to me, but we see a lot of that. But I can make a case mm. where it doesn't make sense for LeBron James to come back and play even if he's capable of playing. And it really depends on, because Darvin Ham left it so wide open in terms of when he's going to come back. If he's not able to get in at least a couple of regular season games, the idea of him going from zero to 60, jumping into a play-in game, which seems the most realistic, the intensity of a play-in game, after he hasn't played for weeks, close to a month now, means that there's a chance of him getting injured again, getting injured again. And at 38 years old, with having heard that he popped a tendon, a tendon in, his, in his ankle, and that's why he's out, I can't help but think about LeBron James wanting to play with his son two years from now, Bronny, when he's eligible to be in the NBA. That being a stated goal of his, what it would mean to do that, as a father, what it would mean to me to be able to do that, I don't have a problem with him looking at where the Lakers are right now and the chance that he's not going to be all that he's capable of being when healthy and saying, yeah, you know what? I'm going to make a business decision here. As he has many times before in his career, which is mm. why he's had the longevity that he's had, mm. I'm okay with it. I, anybody who's not, I'm okay with you not being okay with it. But to me, these are special circumstances this is a very unique, special opportunity to play with his son in the NBA. Never been done before. <clears throat> I'm okay if he makes that decision. You might be okay with that. <laughs> Lakers fans hmm? might not be so okay with that. Hmm? So you talk about a business decision, and LeBron is maybe one of the best at that mm -hmm. in all of sports. Very tactical, very smart, very aware. He lives in Los Angeles because he plays here. Lakers fans are very much not going to be okay with missing the playoffs two years in a row with LeBron James and Anthony Davis on the roster. Mind you, now I don't believe that LeBron pushes and has as much influence over the roster this year as he has in years past. Maybe I'm wrong, but if I am wrong, that makes it worse because mm -hmm. none of the players from the, the championship team right. are still on this roster. <clears throat> so then you blew everything up and after winning a championship, missed the playoffs two years in a row. This is the Los Angeles Lakers. This isn't Cleveland. <laughs> you don't have infinite grace with this organization. There are many, 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 many banners hanging in that building that you did not contribute to. So LeBron knows that. And I believe that we're not talking about it yet because there's no point in projecting about what's going to happen if they miss the playoffs. We're not there yet. They might make it, and then it's a mute conversation. Right. That conversation is going to be much darker than, it, than it's looming. It's the monster in the corner of the closet waiting to climb out and wag. He's just waiting there. He might not ever get out. But if he escapes, the conversation about how things are going in Los Angeles for LeBron with the Lakers is going to be a real one, a much bigger business conversation than him playing with Brody. By the way, LeBron James in two years will be fine, and a team will draft Bronny James, and they will happily take whatever version of LeBron will go there and play with them, and they will sell tickets, and we will watch, and it will be a story regardless of this injury, I believe. Hmm. Shady? Now, before I go, right, hmm. I just want to get this correct. Okay. So you're saying that... I, and, and you're talking to me. Yeah, because... Yeah. <laughs> So you're saying that, that LeBron, he's gonna make a business decision and not play yeah. if the Lakers, they, if they don't get into the, the playoffs or the, or the play-in. Well, a lot of it has to do with to, when he gets back. To get with, to play, make sure he's healthy to play with his yeah. son. Yeah, I think he's got, an, <laughs> he's got an eye toward that. Okay, real quick. How long is the offseason for basketball? Uh, three months. Three months, right. And LeBron James, I'm, I'm not sure if it's the right person they said, but he spends like a million dollars on his body. Yes. Is that the same dude? Yeah. So you're telling me you got three months from the off season to get healthy from the ankle. Yeah. He spends a million dollars on his body, and you tell me he won't be healthy enough for two years to play with his son? Come on, Slick. I know you don't, 40, I know you don't love, I know, you, I know you got a lot of, I don't want to call it hate, but I know you don't rock with the Lakers as much as most people. But let's just be, this is LeBron most James. people on his desk. I mean, it's a lot longer than three months. The season doesn't really start till late in the fall. 
No. Yeah, but if we talk about LeBron enough, James, yeah. I mean, look, if Come you're on, injured, man. if you're injured and you can't start ramping up for the season, September. then it's going to impact you for the season. Listen, okay? I, I, T, you got it. I mean, the, the, to say Listen, that LeBron is like I'm, I'm the Laker fan up here. <laughs> Absolutely, as the Pope Catholic, LeBron is playing. <laughs> he got to play. Like, we got a chance to make the playoffs. Like, and I get it. You want to play with your son. I get that mm. aspect of it. But LeBron missing the playoffs two years in a row, you think he wants that on his legacy? Oh, no. And so that's why he's going to come back and play because he mm. knows what that means. Every, who's better, him or Jordan? He don't want that on it. He does not want that on his legacy. It will be special to play with his son. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Okay. We'll cross that bridge when we get there because if he is healthy, they got a chance to beat any team. Mm. They that, have a chance to beat any team. That's the he separation. knows that, and the team knows that. So when he, when he steps on the court, they're going to play harder. They're, they're, they're not, not going to want to disappoint him. Mm. You know this. You guys are taking the LeBron James that we've seen over the course of his career. I'm just taking Le LeBron James of this year. He what averaged was 30. They, he averaged they 30 were right he averaging 30. So what? They were in 13th place with him averaging 30. Well, I mean, you can't I mean, score. You, you can't roster. do it by yourself. Okay. So we, but we all can say that the role players have been playing a lot better, more Since experienced. Since this trade, yeah, yeah. when he was they playing, so, so, better, so better. Not oh, so, great. But what I'm saying is that you better. Had, which, okay, so... He's, oh, he's off the off the way, right? He's not playing. Right. So now the role players, they gain more confidence. A guy like Austin Reeves is getting more confident, more confident. So now you bring in LeBron, you bring him back. Yeah. The role players playing better, and you got LeBron James. That all that eagles up to a better Laker team. No, this is the distinction. Because and it's and it's LeBron James, and this has always been the yin and yang of LeBron James. Is that when you have LeBron James, you are playing through and around LeBron James. He's dominating the ball. When he's not there, now all of the supporting cast gets more touches. They get more shots. Their numbers go up. They can do, but that is a different role than when you have to play with a certain efficiency playing off of LeBron James and him making all the decisions. And that's always- So now you can play him for 30 minutes now. So Austin Reeves, when LeBron goes out, let's do what you was doing when he was hurt. D'Angelo Russell, when LeBron goes out, let's do what you was doing when he was hurt. 30 minutes? LeBron can play 30 minutes now instead of 37, 38. But that's not how they've played. And, and the idea of you're gonna play a certain way with LeBron and then you're gonna flip it and you're gonna play a completely different way when you have all those other guys? I mean, that's, that's every, that's, that's but it, every but team. But we're not really talking about what's going to happen for them to get into the playoffs. By the way, we're not even talking about them like actual contenders. Uh, technically, we're they're just, not in the playoffs. We're just in, talking about them the making play the playoffs. Right Imagine so, see, if you're a Nuggets fan or a, a Grizzlies fan or any team that is certainly going to make the playoffs already, and we are talking about a team that is trying to get in the playoffs right. with LeBron James and Anthony Davis on the roster. We're talking about the urgency and necessity of LeBron James not missing the playoffs for two years in a row with the Lakers. You're right. At the end of time, right, when his, when his legacy is written and he's retired and he's in the hall and we're, we're looking back mm -hmm. on what's happened, mm -hmm. there's not going to be a little asterisk at, this, at the end of this season, like, well, he was injured and, you know, blah, blah. It's just going to be this. Yeah. Championship, early round exit, two years of the missed playoffs, and then what? But he's already experienced this. He's already made it in through the play-in and then got knocked out by the Phoenix Suns. Did we give him credit for that? Mm. No, we were like, damn, man. Got knocked out in the first round. We didn't care that AD got hurt. Like, we didn't, uh, none of that mattered. We looked at it, and overall it was looked at as a failure by LeBron James because he wasn't playing for a championship. And if AD don't get hurt, we win in that series. That's uh, why he wanted to get healthy, because he knows. But the, See, but, this but, is what I'm dealing with. But my point is, though, yes, that's right. So how much worse is it going to be? It does always fall on LeBron. Any team that has LeBron on it, it's going to fall on LeBron. Yeah. So how much worse is it going to be if he is sitting out, if he's not trying to come back so that in two years he could play with Bronny? Like, okay. that that's, conversation, that's yeah, it sounds crazy. Yeah, but you know what? You can find your way there. 
You can find you there. It, it, hasn't re, it hasn't responded the way we had hoped. He's not quite there. You can find a way to explain rationally why he's not coming back because of the injury. It's been mysterious enough. The flip side is he comes back and they still don't make it. He comes back and he plays in that play-in game because he's not ready to come back and play the role that he needs to. And the Lakers don't even make it into the playoffs and LeBron James came back. I can't disrespect what LeBron James' name worse? that. I, I can't say that if he's healthy, he's not, he's don't, he don't want to play with his team. I, that's never been LeBron James ever. Yeah. We've never known him to be that type of guy. What? LeBron what? James? What? He did that in LA. Listen. I can't disrespect LeBron. Yeah, let me, put, let me put the crown on when I'm yeah. talking about my boy. I can't. You disrespect one of the greats, I, and I will never put I'm that on his. I'm not disrespecting You are. I'm, no, I'm recognizing why he's had the longevity that he's had. When it's not, when he can't play for a championship, when it's not worth him to risk his long-term longevity, he said, you know what? When we had all those young cats and he had the groin injury, he could have come back and played. The way Steph Curry came back and played. How, 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 can, hold on, hold on. how can you say that? What do you mean? Like, because I, he could have. I, I can't tell you if he was capable of playing the game or not if he said he's hurt. No, no, no. I, he had, he, he, was, he was out. Yeah, he was out. He right. could have come back at the end of the year. He could have played some games with those young guys. He decided it's not worth it. He's not the first guy to do it. I'm not, listen, not, listen, it's not listen. special. In it's, that way. It's, but see, the difference is, real quick, the difference is, I think at that time it was kind of over, where they still have a chance. Yeah. Oh. They still have a chance. They still can get in the play. And it's like a, what, a half game? And, and here's my thing. It's not a chance. And, and, you know what? We but him, and here's the thing. Come on, man. We'll see. We'll this see. LeBron like right that. Right now, they're we not there. It. He don't want to play the young oh, guys. All right, Come hold on, on a second. Hold on a second. They're in 11th right now. We get okay. it. Let's say. It flip-flops every other day. No, no, no. Okay. Let's say, there's, let, let's say they're in 11th. They don't have a chance in the play-in. Do you want LeBron James to come back and play? They don't have a chance in the play-in? They don't have a chance to get in the play-in. That's it. That's no. They don't have a chance. No, 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 They're out of, they're, they're play. not able to get in. They're technically eliminated from the play-in. No, not yet. I'm saying if they were, don't when play. LeBron James was don't play. capable no. of... No, you, get, you, you have a you, chance you to give him that option. Season. No, 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 you give him that option. Yeah, but, and, and he probably would, because he's LeBron James. That's right. Put the crown on the top. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak, and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.